OpenAI just launched the GPT 4.1 series, but there's a major catch. You can't use it inside ChatGPT. It's API only. Three new models, GPT 4.1, GPT 4.1 Mini, and GPT 4.1 Nano. All of them are only available to developers. But this is not a limitation, at least not just yet. It's a very intentional move by OpenAI. Here's what makes GPT 4.1 different and why OpenAI is doubling down on APIs. Firstly, let's address the question, what is new? The GPT 4.1 series brings significant improvements. 1 million token context window, stronger instruction following, a much cleaner, more usable code and UI generation as well. Not to mention massive speed and cost improvements. That's right, GPT 4.1 Nano is 150 times cheaper than earlier models in some tasks. But none of this is being pushed through ChatGPT, for now at least. So why is it API only? Why keep GPT 4.1 out of ChatGPT itself? Here's why. Because it's built for builders. These models aren't for chatting, they aren't for time pass, they are for shipping. GPT 4.1 is designed for apps, agents, internal tools, automation, not small talk. It encourages integration from platforms like, say, Windsurf and Cursor to AI-driven workflows in enterprise apps. And that's why this rollout makes developers move much faster. And with free access during launch week, there is no reason not to try it. Let's talk about scaling without distraction. ChatGPT has mass usage, but by limiting 4.1 to API only, OpenAI controls who gets to test it in production and how it's used, ensuring quality and real-time feedback loops. It's aligned with the agent economy. GPT 4.1 Nano is optimized for low latency, high frequency agent use cases. It's perfect for background tasks and embedded agents as well. Chat-based experience, not the priority here, clearly. Let's take a quick break and ask the real questions. What are with these names? I mean, it went from GPT-4 to GPT-4.0 for Omni, to O1, O3 Medium, O4 Mini, and now GPT-4.1, Mini, and Nano. I mean, what are we talking about, cars? At this point, it feels like OpenAI is just naming their models with random number generator plus Scrabble tiles. One developer online actually joked that OpenAI should require deciphering the model list as part of a job interview. But jokes aside guys, GPT 4.1 actually brings order back to the naming mess. Because there are three clear models, different sizes, different costs, and one shared architecture. Honestly, the world needed this clarity. On the bright side though, maybe now people will finally stop calling it ChatGPT 4.5 or ChatGPT 4.1. Because let's be clear, it's GPT 4.1 and it's not in ChatGPT. Smart move OpenAI. But let's address the important question once again. What makes GPT 4.1 actually useful? One million context lets you handle entire books, multi-session chat memory, or complex spreadsheet logic. And for developers out there, coding feels so much smoother. UI generation is cleaner, more, more aesthetic, and app structure is more intelligent. Python is still the gold standard, but support across languages like, say, JavaScript, Rust, Go has all improved. Internal teams using agents or, say, reasoning tools, the likes of Llama Index, Agno, Agent AI, are seeing 10 to 15 percentage performance boosts. This is not just an upgrade, it's, it's a step toward automated software workflows at a large scale. And that is why this matters. GPT 4.1 isn't here to wow casual users. It's here to empower builders. Whether, whether you're a solo developer writing tools, whether you're a startup shipping an agent, or whether you're an enterprise integrating AI into your workflows. These models are much faster, they are smarter, they are cheaper, and ready for production today. OpenAI isn't just releasing better models, they are streamlining how AI becomes software infrastructure. And that is why it's completely safe to say that GPT 4.1 is API only for an important reason. It's, it's not here to entertain, it's not here to help you do time pass, it's here to enable. OpenAI is clearly saying we are done making people talk to our AI. Now we want people to build with our AI. And if you're not building something with it, you might just be falling behind. And that's what brings me to my question for this video, especially to the developers, to the coders. If you're using GPT 4.1, what do you want to build with it? Share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast and maybe a fellow software developer. 
Tell us how did you enjoy this video and of course for more such real time live updates from the entire world of tech and AI subscribe to AIM TV because you know what's coming think AI think AIM